Once you join the registry, if you're identified to be a match, the registry will contact you and set up a simple blood draw to confirm that you're a match. The actual process of donating is quite simple, and there's two methods of donating. The method will be determined by the patient's doctor. The first method is donating what we call peripheral blood stem cells. This is a simple process that usually involves taking a medicine called filgrastum, which is used to stimulate your blood cells, and it's very similar to the process of donating plasma. The second type of process is a bone marrow donation. This is a simple outpatient procedure where the goal is to collect enough of your bone marrow stem cells to donate to the patient. It does involve going to sleep, but again, it's a simple outpatient surgical procedure that most people can do and be back up and around within a couple of days. The side effects of either procedure are usually quite manageable and what we call self-limited. Sometimes with the peripheral blood stem cell donation, because of the medication you receive to stimulate your blood cells, you can have a little bit of aches and pains, almost like as if you have the flu. Usually these are, again, very transient, short-lived, and self-limited, and go away with simple medications like Tylenol. For either procedure, it's really important to know your blood cells and your bone marrow are essentially like factories. Their job is to continue to make new blood cells. So these are not procedures that usually require you to get a blood or platelet transfusion or anything like that because your body is smart enough to regenerate those cells on its own. It's really important to remember that the entire process is completely voluntary. Registering just allows you to enter the registry. If you are called to donate, it is important that you completely understand the process and the registry and the staff will go through all of that with you. It is important to remember that when you register, you should be prepared that you may be called and you should feel comfortable enough with the process, so always feel free to ask questions. Remember, you may actually be a patient's only chance. Donating bone marrow is a simple process as well. It usually is an outpatient minor surgical procedure where you do go to sleep, there's an anesthesiologist there the whole time, and they essentially numb the back of your hip bone and collect the bone marrow from there. Afterwards, you're usually able to be up and about within a couple of days. It's extremely unlikely to have pain that keeps you out of going to work after a few days or doing your normal activities. So I encourage each and every one of you today, find out more, see how you can register, see how you can help, encourage those around you. It's really important because we truly need to have better matches, more matches within the registry. And the only way that we can do that for African Americans is by signing up for the registry ourselves.